What's the motherfucking deal? Welcome to Soft Sports. If you're not familiar with Soft Sports, Soft Sports is a Houston, Texas homer network. Maybe talking all sports, but only Houston. So with that being said, let's get into the conversation. We're going to talk about some staff changes on the Houston, Texas today that may be integral uh, to the success or the failure of Texans next year or next season. You know, later on this year, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm your host, Ed Honcho. Hey, and if you don't know, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you join us every night at 7 p.m. for the live stream where we discuss all sports, everything that's happening in the city. I'm getting to the conversation, man. Make sure you're a part of that. You can call in with your thoughts, express your feelings. Um, so what I want to get into is the big change. The number one thing is that the Texans added a QB coach, former QB coach of the Seattle Seahawks. He's been under the the guise of Pete Carroll for quite some time. I was with him for a little while at USC. Um, was with him for a little bit with the Seahawks. And now he is a Texan. He was QB coach for Russell Wilson for about six, seven years from 2011 to 2017. They kind of moved to assistant head coach position, similar to the situation that um, fucking Romeo Cornell was in when Vrabel was the defensive coordinator. So very interesting situation with that. Uh, but a new guy came in and basically took over the, the QB coaching, and so there's that. So now he is a Texan. His son is also a Texans coach, uh, Tracy Smith, I believe is his name, and he's under Brad Seeley for the special teams. So very interesting thing. I know a lot of people – uh, in the Texans organization or Texans fans or whatever are going to hate to hear this, but yes, he does have Patriot ties. Uh, late 90s, he was a Patriots coach. It is what it is. He's also coached with the Jaguars and I believe with the Saints. So there's that. Now, do I think that he can bring something to the team? Absolutely. I think that he can be an asset. I think that he could be a plus to this team. It's going to be very interesting to see what he's able to translate from some of Russell Wilson's skill set to Deshaun Watson. It's not like it's a whole lot that needs to be done, but there are a few tools that, that Watson could possibly pick up to just step his game up a little bit more. Again, he's already a great quarterback. He's already a great quarterback, and he can already be, he can be that much more. So it's uh, going to be very interesting to see what happens there. So another thing that we have to look at when it comes to Smith um, – that I think is very important, age, age factor. Uh, he's 70 right now, going to be 71 when the season starts. April 26th, I believe, is his birthday. Another factor to look at, again, some of those similarities to Romeo Cornell, getting a little older in some areas on the coach's staff, getting a little younger in some areas. But it's the Texans. We'll see what happens with that. Another thing that we have to think about, um, Tim Kelly, young guy, we know that he vacated the tight ends coaching position and is now the OC. So you have Will Lawling, who is going to be taking his spot, who was in a similar situation as Kelly, a graduate assistant under Bill O'Brien, started off defensive quality control, moved to the offensive line assistant or offensive assistant, and then now he's a tight ends coach. I have a, a weird feeling about guys who start off on one side of the ball and hop to the other one. It makes me kind of wonder about their expertise it is what it is but we all know bill o'brien played defense and somehow he's a qb guru or supposedly but allegedly whatever you want to call it but we'll see what happens with that Uh, a couple other pieces you have mike eubanks is going to be replacing luke richardson as the strength and conditioning coordinator so he studied under luke for quite some time interned under for quite some time so i don't think there'll be too much of a drop off there he should probably know, can be able to segue it well. Uh, a lot of continuity in that situation. And that's where former Texan, former Texan great Brian Cushing will be joining as an assistant and also a defensive assistant. Speaking of Brian Cushing, two other former Texans, Akeem Dent, also a linebacker, will be a defensive assistant. And Gates, the great, the original playoff Texans QB, will be an offensive assistant, contrary to the rumors that were saying he was going to be a QB coach, which would be odd because – Deshaun has more games starting and played in the NFL than Yates does. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. I'm sure they have some history from some of the things that I've seen. It'll be interesting to see what happens. But, man, I want to know how y'all feel. Do y'all think that the Texans have made the right moves? Do you think that they made some stagnant moves? Uh, Do you think that Carl Smith will be a good replacement for uh, Sean Ryan. I mean, I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Man, hey, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you tune in at 7 o'clock. And if you guys want to show some love to the channel to help out the sauce, man, make sure you consider, well, don't make sure, but consider going by streamlabs.com slash sauce sports and, you know, make a little contribution to the channel because, like I said, I'm trying to work on some things to grow some things to bring you guys some completely different content. Not to stop doing what we're doing already, but I just got some things in mind uh, to change the game up a little bit. And so if you want to help out on that, and shout out to everybody who has already contributed to the sauce, and I definitely appreciate all your contributions. I don't want anybody to think I take that for granted. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the support. But with that being said, hey, man, y'all are the freshest motherfucking ingredients in the world. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to chunk up the deuce. Make sure y'all slide by staysaucy.com because the website is finally up. I know a lot of people have been asking about the merch. So you go and check some of that out. Get you some fresh sauce merch or some of the other channels that uh, that I have 
merch for or just some hot shit. Get you one of these shirts. Get you one of these dope ass, you know, H-Town dripping shirts, man. But with that being said, hey, y'all be cool like y'all be cool. Y'all the fresh motherfucking ingredients in the world. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'll catch y'all at 7 o'clock tonight. Stay saucy. I'm out. <laughs>